Hey, welcome back here with Wrench and Mafia. As you guys can see right here, we are going to be doing a differential fluid service on my truck. This should cover 2019 to 2022 Chevy Silverado 1500s. Mine in particular, I do have a 2021 Chevy Silverado 1500 Trail Boss. The variation code for the differential on my vehicle is going to be the SU7. There is other three variations. Contact your local dealer to get the proper parts and fluid for your vehicle. Uh, I'll put the the fluid capacities here and of course the part numbers but once again please contact the dealership to get the proper fluid and differential cover gasket from there some of the tools we'll be using we're going to use a marker to kind of mark our bolts we have a fluid extractor 3 8 extensions a 10 millimeter sockets shallow and deep and of course uh ratchets 3 8 ratchets and of course your torque wrench got some brake cleaner some shop towels and of course, I'm going to be using some gloves. If you need any gloves, contact Unisafe Gloves. I'll put their link in the description. I like to use the Glovezillas in particular. Fast shipping, great product. You won't be disappointed. And of course, you're also going to need a green pan. So let's get started. This will be the SU7 differential code. So I am going to loosen up the drain. Uh, it's going to be a 3 8. And of course, I am going to remove the 12 10 millimeter bolts. And of course, I am going to put my drain pan to catch the fluid. I'm using my 3 8 extension. Break that loose. You want to make sure you break that loose so that way you won't have problems filling it back in. So, there is a procedure when you got to fill it up, even there's specifications. You, on this SU7, you have to be a certain amount below the fill line. And I will put the specs once we fill it up. So one thing I like to do is, of course, remove all the lower bottom ones. That way, when I take up the tops um, and start loosening those up, I'll be able to let the fluid drain. Loosen up all the bolts. And there she is. Kind of get an idea how dirty it is. There's a magnet there. We will be cleaning that. And there's some material there. So we'll clean it out. So what we want to do next is basically drain on the fluid as much as we can. And of course wipe everything down nice and clean. And from there we'll just give it a nice spray. Make sure we have a nice nice clean surface just like that so everything looks nice and clean we are going to put it back together and uh, we'll go from there so what I like to do is start with my hand make sure everything goes in nice and smooth uh, and then from there we'll Hand on my hand all the way. So the next step is going to be to torque them. So the torque spec for the SU7 is going to be 15 foot pounds after you go all the way around and start on the start pattern. And then of course, do a final 20 degree angle uh, tightening on all the bolts. So I'm just going to go on the start pattern. And now we officially have everything nicely torqued the way it's supposed to be. And of course, this is for the SU7. I will put the SU8 uh, torque specs 
right here. So next step, I'm just going to clean it up real good, and then I'm going to fill it up. So this is where I use my Mighty Vac fluid extractor. I know sometimes you can't get a funnel in here. So this thing takes about two, two and a half quarts, but according to specification on the SU7, uh, you don't have to be above, uh, you don't have to let it, it has to be below the fill line. So I believe I put the specs here. I think it's uh, about half an inch or uh, there's a spec that we'll put right here in the description and also for the SU8. So not like the old days where you fill it up till it drains. This one, you have to put it at a certain specifications. So this is the reason I like the, the fluid extractor. I get to put my, my fluid in there and it pumps it right in without making a lot of a mess or losing fluid. So I'm gonna fill it right up and then from there we'll go to the procedures, how to check it. So once I'm filled to spec, of course, I don't wanna fill it so it's flowing. It has to be right below it. So I like to put my finger and I'll point it downward. And I kind of, once I see a little fluid, I kind of know that I'm there. From there, we're going to put the drain plug and we're going to torque it down. Oh. The torque spec for the SU7 is going to be 24 foot pounds. And of course, for the SU8, I'll be linking the torque for this as well. So, once that's torque, all we want to do is we want to make sure we clean everything very well. That way we make sure that we don't have any leaks. Everything looks nice and clean. And that's how we replace the differential fluid on our Chevy Silverado 1500 uh, with the SU7. I want to say thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video and want to see more like this, hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.